going on right now? We are getting ready for EVA Day 2 on our servicing mission. Mm -hmm. And today is important because we're, we're doing two big things to extend the life of the telescope. The first thing will be the gyros, replacing the gyros. The gyros help keep the camera steady so you don't get a shaky picture. Right? No. We're, we're targeting uh, photos pretty far off, so you want to keep the camera still, and the gyros help keep the telescope still so we take clear pictures. We've done gyros before. We've changed the procedure. We've improved the procedure over the years, over the servicing missions, and we've developed new tools. It should be off at 2 clockwise, too. And refined the procedure, so it should go smooth. So how difficult a task is this? It's, uh, it's a pretty difficult task. When the astronaut's working inside the telescope, there are plenty of surfaces that they have to avoid. Uh, Mike's going to go in, or Mike Masmina's going to go in on his back. There's a bunch of delicate uh, instrumentation inside that he has to avoid. And he's got to snake those big arms of his past all this sensitive equipment to get to the bolts that will release uh, the RSUs. It's physically challenging. We've got a rather large astronaut inside a very cramped space. But you know what? Those long arms are going to serve him well, I think. Why do you keep teasing Mike like that? <laughs> Mike's a buddy. <laughs> Michael Good now uh, seating the new rate sensor unit. That was fun, huh? Uh, RSU, the first RSU installed very nicely, and uh, with the second one ran into a little difficulty because we had contingency procedures ready. Uh, we were able to fall back on those and come up with a fix. So we got uh, the second one installed, and uh, the last RSU uh, installation, we had to go to retrieve our spare. Now he's on the arm. What we're looking for is debris that could be either going into the telescope or coming from the telescope. They look like they're ejected. Because we wonder, you know, did something break on the telescope or is there something that could get in the way of an electrical connector that the astronauts are going to mate? You know, there's a lot of reasons we need to keep it clean. And so when we see something in the video, we run back there and they have a TiVo. And so we say, play that back, you know, and they, they run it back and forth a couple times. Then we try to think about it. And I don't know if you saw us look at the monitors. We, we have models of the telescope. Um, and we, we try to see, you know, if it's coming from, say, this red area here, it could sweep out past the field of view. Imagine that the astronaut's laying on his back inside the telescope, looking out at space, right, while he's working, and we see these particles going by. We say, well, where did they come from? So we start thinking in our heads, well, maybe it's back here. There's, there's actually a port that water is dumped out of the, the orbiter, and ice crystals can build up there. So our thought now is maybe that's just ice crystals that we saw drifting by in the field of view of the camera. Didn't come from the telescope at all. Didn't go inside the telescope, so it's okay. It's coming out. Maybe he's the source. This mission has been yeah, described as one of the more dangerous ones because of the altitude at which it's flying and you hear about space debris. And you mentioned debris. Are we talking about the same debris? No, the, the space debris is already up in orbit and it's moving a lot faster relative to the shuttle and to the telescope. And so we wouldn't see that on the video because it'd go whizzing by so fast you wouldn't even see it unless it hit something, in which case it would just make a little pinhole. If it's small, if it's big, it could be a bigger problem. But we have people on the ground with radar that are tracking the large pieces, and they actually move the shuttle out of the way if we're going to get close to something like that. Four turns on 10. Good torque. Copy 10. The, the batteries are 19 years old. Um, the capacity has uh, degraded over these years and by putting in the new batteries we will restore uh, the original capacity of these batteries to run the instruments. Just uh, have to close the door. Okay. So we'll be waiting on MCC go for isolator switches. Eight seconds. That was a longer than expected spacewalk, but Hubble now has six new gyroscopes and three new batteries. But on tomorrow's schedule, the first ever camera repair to be done in space.